So we're still all kind of basking in the glow of the retreat. I'm high. We're I'm, still high. Yeah. Really, I just... Ugh. People are using words like womb. They felt like they were in the womb. That kind of safe, nurturing environment. One of the women wrote a really amazing comment on our little private Facebook group that I want to share. Anyone notice that their sexual expression has been more unbridled or deeper or more intense since the retreat? I had some transcendent, holy fuck, growling, my partner asking me if I was okay, level of fuck the other night. Here's my favorite line. I was so embodied, I just was. I was energy, pleasure, lust, fire. It was intense. Ah. Uh. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> it is the most I could dream of. Dream for want. It's just... It is... You know, I am basking in all of this love. And your birthday was yesterday. <laughs> 88. I yeah. said you were 87 because you're always a year ahead and you're 88. 88, yeah. She was showing me the, the comments. So this morning when I came in, I took Betty on Facebook and was showing her the comments for her birthday and the retreat comments. Wow. It's, I mean, it's just like, it's a, a way to communicate. It's another way to communicate. I have enough ways already. And also the piece that ran in iNews that was all about the oh, retreat yeah. yes. and the workshops. Yes. And I gave them a ton of photos and they picked all the best ones and the message about the pleasure revolution. Yep. Here it is. Because pleasure is about self-love. How do we oppress women? How do we oppress people? We divorce them from their bodies. Their bodies are shameful. They, they, you have guilt. Or it's the it's corporate America saying <coughs> you're not skinny enough. Or your boobs aren't big enough. Your dick isn't big enough. It's always divorce them from their bodies. And you made a comment that I think was very profound. We always think of denying the flesh to feed the spirit. But what about feeding the flesh to feed the spirit? Feeding. Helping it. Loving it. Well, it's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm just one, just one person. But I'm not just one person. I realize now that what I believe is being shared by thousands, maybe millions because you know how to promote. I don't. Well, I mean, it seems simple, but it's profound. And, and that's what all the women experienced in the retreat. We were supporting. There was a moment during one of the erotic recesses that I think it just kind of sums it all up. Rosa was having this intense orgasm, but she was right in front of it. And she wasn't really getting there. And then you grabbed a foot and started massaging her foot. And Barbara grabbed another foot. And then one woman, she asked for a different vibrator, handed the vibrator. There's something about supporting your own pleasure and the people's pleasure around you. Supporting that. Yes, not judging. Because as women, we're always judging each other. And we're always being judged. Judging ourselves. Yes. When we can just let go of that. You want to have multiple orgasms, mind-shattering orgasms, unbridled pleasure and lust? Be in a safe, supportive environment. Yes, yes. Oh, it was so beautiful. I can't just... And all the women just keep on saying they want to go back. <laughs> When's the <laughs> next retreat? <laughs> I want to go back. I want to do it again. Because when you go out into the world and you kind of get slapped in the face... Again, with like the gender politics and, and that, you know, the okay, slut right, stigma. Right now, to make me feel better and all those other women, we will do it again next year. We will? We will. All right. <laughs> all right. You, you need a, 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 an assistant? I'll get you an assistant. Do the no, we don't need an assistant. I don't feel like that at all. Okay. Um, all right, and we've limited it to the women that have taken workshops, and we're holding three more this fall. So if you want to join us, it's October 21st and 22nd, November 11th and 12th, and December 9th and 10th. Take a workshop. Come to a retreat. I love that line, and Amanda, I just was. I am. When you're enough. I am. I just was. That's See, when I've the been... sexuality, all that energy just pours out of you. I've been doing this for so long, I don't even know how to verbalize it, but you come along and you put it all into words. 
And that's something that I have not been able to do exactly. Well, because you just do it. You're divining. You're channeling it. And then I can sit there and say, you know what I think is profound? All the women are seen and heard. They've been vulnerable, but they've been seen and heard. And most importantly, they've had a positive experience with pleasure. Life-changing. That's why I don't give a shit about getting old. It's okay, <laughs> it's okay with me. So if you want to be 88 years old, <laughs> and be look happy. like this and be happy, <laughs> a little bit of self-love never hurt. Oh, it sustains me. It does. I had a great orgasm a couple of days ago and I went, God damn, Dodson, at your age, carrying on like this. And I said, yep, I'm going to be carrying on like this even, even more. And then I do it with my women. We all get together and celebrate our orgasms. I mean, what a great idea. <laughs> I'm amazed I came up with it. I don't think I did. I think it's just a gift that the goddess has bestowed upon me. Oh, I love that. Let's enjoy Betty's gifts. And that it can be used by everybody. Everybody can love themselves. Really. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't take any more time. It doesn't add to your itinerary. I mean, just love yourself. Just appreciate. Uh, no, uh, never mind love. Appreciate. Appreciate. Mm -hmm. Appreciate yourself. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And we appreciate you. All of you. Bless you. <laughs>